Hey guys, I'm going to give you, in this video I'm going to give you guys a uh, short little overview video of my disc sander that I made for my lathe. And the piece of plywood that I had that I used for it was a piece of three quarter inch plywood and it has this yellow like formica, melamine stuff on it. So as far as the table is concerned, it is used, it is made out of uh, just particle board. It's three quarter inches thick. Um, you can see my dust board in there and all the dust that's accumulated so far but it does a good job of sucking the dust out. Um, I posted a video, a short one, one minute video on my channel. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for that and also at the top of the video there's a link. Um, but it does a really good job of sucking the dust out and I'll show you why um, at the end of this video. But the first thing I did was I made a runner out of hardwood and I'm not sure what kind of hardwood it is, it might be maple. But basically I just cut it to fit inside this bed um, I cut it a little bit oversized on my table saw and then I used my hand plane to get it uh, to where it fit really nice. Here in the bottom here you can see that I had to glue and screw these two extra pieces on there so it actually hits the, it goes underneath uh, the disc here and it hits the edge or hits right here but um, it's 10 inches square and 5 inches, 5 inches tall. Um, to come up to about the middle of this disc. The last thing I want to show you is the dust collection on here. You might be thinking, well, because of this big opening, you have um, less suction because uh, the bigger opening on a smaller shop vac is not going to give you the amount of suction. But the, the, the whole idea is, is that when you push this up against there, it's not hitting the disc. But it's only got these two small corners, one here on the, and one on the opposite side. So the majority of this opening here is blocked by the disc. And so it, it prevents kind of um, the suction is directed into these corners. And so it actually increases the airflow um, quite a bit. It's less than a sixteenth of an inch in here uh, from the disc to the table. And if you watch, there's, there's absolutely no wobble in this at all, which I'm pleasantly surprised about because this is a scrap piece of plywood that I reclaimed. Um, you can see behind here I have a bunch of other scraps back there. So it's always nice when you can just take pieces of scrap plywood that you have and use them for something like this. That's my basic overview of, uh, of the disc sander that I made for my lathe. If you, if you guys have any other comments or questions you can go ahead and leave them down in the, in the comments section below. And I'll, be, I'll be happy, more than happy to answer your questions about this. Um, if, you don't, if you don't already subscribe to my channel, I encourage you to go ahead and subscribe now and uh, go ahead and hit that bell button so you're notified of any videos that I upload. Um, I'm also pretty active on Instagram over there, so I'll leave a link down below to my Instagram account if you want to follow me over there. I also have a Facebook page set up for Luther Woodworks. I've already got a, a logo made. I'm in the works to get some stickers made as, as well. When I do get the stickers made, you'll be, you guys will be one of the first people to... Uh, to receive them or be notified of them. Uh, you guys be safe in your shops and have fun making stuff and God bless.